hello hello i am back with another video and today i want to talk about us just being energy and explain to the best of my ability on how <laughs> to be in the now with that energy this piggybacks off of another video i think it was a goddess of showing video when i was kind of dipping into this here but i want to i want to share this in more depth Something that I've learned and it's helped me on my journey as far as like meditating is concerned. Meditation, you know, they always say just be, be in the now. But a lot of people struggle with that. I did a lot. And even when you figure it out, it's almost like something new that you've learned. You got to constantly remind yourself of how to do it. And so that's what the purpose of this particular video is. It's, it's, it's going to break down how to be the observer of the energy. Because you know how I often say we're energy. Mm -hmm. And our energy fluctuates. That people all vibrate at different frequencies. And this is really the energetic piece that I'm speaking of in depth. So... The best way I could explain it is by, look, by talking about our vision with these two eyes, like I did on the last video. With these two eyes, I can see the camera head. With these two eyes, I have a peripheral vision, right, that I can still see. But with these two eyes, I cannot see behind me, right? I can see behind me by my virtual reality by feeling, by understanding that I have an aura of energy around me. So now looking ahead with these, with this one eye, my virtual reality, my third eye, I can feel my aura ahead. Try closing your two eyes and feel the aura ahead. Feel the, which would be in your physical two eyes, this here space on the side of you, which is your peripheral. And then feel that space that you cannot see with your two eyes, but you can feel with your third eye, or should I say your first eye. Now put all of that energy around you together and feel that energy this energetic space is your aura of energy this energetic space is where all of your thoughts and <laughs> ideas are right now this is the energetic space that people will say i don't know when i walked up in the room something didn't feel right because this is this is what they're feeling you and I, <laughs> the larger part of us is that space. So in order to be in the now, we come out of the body experience using the third eye and we feel that space. But we open up our eyes while feeling that space. And if we open up our eyes while feeling that space, we become the observer in that space, observing the physical body or your physical avatar. And so when you are an observer of the body, you, that means you are absent from the body, present with God. And so this is your God space, so to speak. And in this God space, this is where all of your energy or your thoughts are. So your thoughts in this space are just like jibber jabber, so to speak. I wonder what time it is. I wonder who that, that is pulling up in the driveway. I wonder if the front door is locked. I wonder blah, blah, blah. I wonder blah, blah, blah. How does it feel like blah, blah, blah. When I was young, I was blah, blah, blah. I don't like blah, 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 blah. blah. Whatever you don't like, whatever you want whatever you may be sad about, all of those feelings or thoughts are right here in that space. 
and there are a ton of them, right? But check this out. When you are absent from the body and enter in this space, it's almost like you are cleaning this space, so to speak, because now you're not thinking. Your mind is free from any type of thought and you're just the observer of the body. So let's try that. Let's get into that space as if we're feeling our aura. And if you're focused on feeling your aura, what you'll realize is that you're not thinking about all of the stuff that's in the aura. And so what happens when you when you become the observer of your reality is that you're living in the now at that particular moment. And the now is when you are in total allowance of all of that jibber jabber to actually come to you. It's like you're walking into all of those things, the jibber jabber and allowing it to manifest for you. They don't <laughs> manifest for you immediately when you stay thinking of them. It's like you have to clear the mind of all of the thoughts and allow those experiences to come to you, allow those manifestations to come forward to you. I'm trying to explain this to the best of my ability. I'm hopeful that you will get this here. So I am sitting here at this table and I have nothing in my head because I am the observer of my physical reality right now. Nothing is in my head because I am in that aura space of energy that I was just speaking to you about. Nothing is in my head. Nothing. This is the place or the thoughts we should have when we're meditating, when we're supposedly practicing the or of allowing in our experiences. We can even do this while we're working because we can think of ourselves as the energetic self and observe ourselves while working. Being the observer, we don't have to really get detailed, you know, analytically involved in every task. We can sit back and be the observer of cooking, of touching, of the touch, of the taste, of the smell, of the sight. We can actually get into the senses more, but the thinking less. And when we learn how to do this, we can increase the increments of doing this And we become aware of the fact that we are God having a human experience. We came forth in the physical reality as pure positive energy assigned to an avatar self having a human experience and we can observe ourselves having a human experience as I am right now in this chair observing myself having a human experience with you it is my promise to you this feels so peaceful when you are the observer. It is my promise to you <laughs> that this is, this is key to allowing everything you want to begin to manifest. And you do it sometimes. You just don't realize you're doing it. When you have 
a little thought and it, and you stop thinking of it. You clear your mind of it. And then you turn around and that very same thing manifests instantly for you. That was simply because you became the God in that particular situation. You, you stepped out. You, you probably didn't do the, 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 the looking ahead, looking to the side, but looking and looking to the back or energy thing. You probably didn't know nothing about that, but that's what you did in order to make whatever that is manifest to you in the physical reality. You got out of it. You let the thought just go. There are some people in the physical reality that all of their thoughts in their aura energy they think about constantly millions of thoughts on a daily basis and they're not allowing them to manifest because they kind of re rethinking them. Oh, I'm, I'm a fat. Oh, I'm, I'm always hungry. Oh, you know, the doctor said such and such. Oh my gosh, I wonder, I wonder how, what's going on with, with it today. Is it growing inside of me or is it getting working worse? Am I getting sicker? And, and they allow their thoughts to take over, just grow, 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 grow. Instead of being the observer, instead of being still and knowing that I am God, instead of getting absent from the body so that they could become present with the Lord, <laughs> trusted and knowing that all things are working out for me. If we think about Jesus in the biblical text, that's pretty much what Jesus was doing. Go. Your faith has made you whole. Lazarus is not dead. He's just sleeping. <laughs> because that story shined light on Jesus being absent from the body present with the Lord. There's even a, a scripture that says, when you see me, you see the Father. Because we're on the same frequency here. I don't see you as being sick. I don't see you as the lame man. I don't see you as the blind man. I don't see you with the woman, as the woman with the issue of the blood. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not in my mind. I've cleared that out. I see you whole. <laughs> I see you healed. That's all I can see. I don't see your issue. Boy, when we get, I'm on a journey too, y'all. When we get to that point, we just gonna be so cold with it. This is what I practice. <laughs> and I know it works. I know it works because I clear my mind all the time when I go make my products I just clear my mind and I think about the now and I'm I'm like oh these these essential oils just really smell good and oh 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 these herbs oh you know this you know the the smell the power in them and oh look look how look how the texture of it is it it just seems like it's gonna be so soothing on the skin I get into to see it, smell it, taste it, touch it. I get all of whatever is going on in the physical reality of my world. I get all of that out. And I become the observer of myself being a healer while making my products. And it feels really good. And it feels really, really powerful. And it feels like I am in alignment. And it feels like I am God in the flesh having a human experience I'm hopeful that I broke that down good enough for you to help you on your journey comment below if you have any other questions if I could go into more detail and don't forget to like the video this video and all my videos are from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed.